So we found an HBCU that's trying to get off of the list of the National Registry of Historical Places. But it actually makes sense. It's time for the Royal Blue and the Light Blue Dragons of Virginia, Virginia University of Lynchburg. We see you. What up, y'all? It's time for another 100 HBCUs in 100 Days, powered by the number one mobile reader for the culture with new issues coming soon, the underrated report. We got the link in the bio. And today is all about Virginia University of Lynchburg. Thank you to everyone that has purchased an I Am Black History hoodie. We appreciate you. If you would like to cop one or another one, just tap the link in the bio. We still have some left in different colors and different sizes. Virginia University of Lynchburg, originally organized in May 1886 as Virginia Seminary and College. Just 21 years out of slavery, African-American Baptist leaders founded Lynchburg's oldest institution of higher education for men and women. In 1888, the location of the school was chosen in Lynchburg, partly because it already had a large African-American population there and also because it was serviced by rail lines. The school was incorporated as a co-ed Lynchburg Baptist Seminary. July 1888, the first cornerstone of the first building was laid and the first classes were held in 1890 under the name Virginia Seminary on January 18th, led by Professor R.P. Armstead. Interesting conflict for the school during the term of the second president, Gregory W. Hayes, there was a controversy between black separatists and accommodationalists. Now, those are groups that wanted black people to either be away from white people or those that say we're going to make it work with them. The chief patrons of the school wished it to become a pre-collegiate manual training institution, training like teachers and stuff like that. But Hayes was like, eh, we're going to do something different. We're going to return the power to the black community and help us keep our autonomy and our identity. Fast forward to 1996, the university was renamed Virginia University of Lynchburg, not to be confused with the University of Lynchburg because there's no Virginia on that name, but it's in Virginia and it's easy to get confused between the two when you're trying to study for a TikTok video. My bad. An agreement was reached in 2010 with Liberty University to help students of the university complete degrees that are not currently offered at VUL. And the school has a local historical district, but the school has been battling against the city council to try to get it removed from the historic register so they can do new construction on the campus. With only about 250 students enrolled, we gotta add Virginia University of Lynchburg into the small but mighty HBCUs. Notable alumni, Lawrence Carter, civil rights historian and poet, teacher, civil rights activist, library and gardener, Miss Ann Spencer. Shout out to you, Virginia University of Lynchburg. We see you and thank you for watching. As a gift, we'd like to give you a free copy of the underrated report with more dope stories just like this. Tap the link in the bio, tap the picture and drop your email. We'll get it to you as soon as we can. Thanks again and never forget that black education is black excellence. So let's keep it going. Who's next?